Okay, uh, this is going to be a last in a series uh, on Remlog NG, uh, at least for a little while. Uh, I'm using FL Digi for digital mode, mainly uh, PSK31. And uh, FL Digi logs into Remlog NG as long as you're using the Apple script. And it was real easy to set up, uh, no problems at all. Let's uh, set up Remlog first. And uh, if you got it installed, go to Rum Log and Preferences. And if you remember on uh, my last video, we set up uh, the ICOM 7300. We're using CAT uh, and send data to FL Digi. Uh, the rest is, is the same. Want to go over to the FL Digi tab. And uh, under FL Digi, the host is home 127.0.0.1. And the port for FL Digi is 7362 and I don't have anything checked in here so uh, that's really all you have to do for rum log uh, to get it going with FL Digi and uh, if you haven't already uh, you can go to SourceForge and uh, get FL Digi I'll, I'll put a uh, link at the bottom and uh, on the Mac you just click on the file and uh, it will uh, download it put it in your downloads folder and from there you can uh, double click on it and uh, and get it installed okay let me show you how to set up FL Digi you'll go up to configure and rig control and you want to go through uh, these tabs and make sure nothing's selected we're using XML RPC put a little check mark in the box and hit initialize and for push to talk, I'm using, uh, I, I figured that this worked better for me. I, I tried a couple of different things. Uh, I'm using uh, a separate serial uh, push to talk, and it is the, uh, the USB cable, uh, my USB audio codec. And I don't know if I can uh, really show you that real well. Uh, yeah, it actually does. There you go. Get the full, uh, get the full uh, picture there. And then you just hit initialize using RTS. Nothing over here. Save and close. And if your push to talk's working, you should be able to hit tune and uh, key the transmitter. And when I do that, I'm putting out 30 watts. FL Digi. And I have found uh, when I uh, open up FL Digi initially, uh, I don't get. Uh, the the frequency up here it's just zero zero but if I just turn my tuning dial on my radio then it uh, it pops up so uh, that's how uh, I, I, I get connected uh, each time uh, I start this I have to do that and uh, I can show you quickly uh, right here what I'm talking about I'm going to open FL Digi and watch it show up this time. Nope, it's at zero. Zero dot zero. And then if I reach over and just turn my tuning knob, uh, it pops up. So, you know, not a big deal. So we got the, the rig, uh, rig set up. Uh, sound card, of course, is going to be uh, your USB audio codec and uh, you want to select the uh, port audio here and as soon as you do that hit save and then close and uh, you should see a waterfall and I have my waterfall I've changed it a little bit uh, here I'm uh, at uh, a magnification of 2 uh, or the scale of 2 and uh, yours may show up it may look like that and uh, just click on that button to expand it some and uh, that looks pretty good to me and uh, I can see uh, the stations calling CQ are in a, a QSO over here and in the top right uh, you know, let me select a signal here and uh, we'll get somebody there we got somebody uh, 50 foot uh, and boy I don't have a lot of people out there right now the uh, the next thing you want to do is set up uh, your Apple script to log into rum log here and, and uh, I'll put these links uh, down below
but uh, if you go to uh, uh, this this page you can download uh, the file uh, from here and as soon as you click on it it goes into your downloads folder and uh, once it's downloaded uh, all I uh, did was from finder I, I went to uh, the uh, folder that it's going to be dropped into which is scripts under FL Digi and if you're not seeing your hidden folders you'll need to change the settings in your Mac so you can view these hidden folders it, I found it's just easier to do this way and uh, this is the folder it's going to go into so from the uh, downloads I just dragged it and dropped it right into there and I didn't have to change anything uh, in the script you can edit the script if you want uh, I didn't find it necessary to do and uh, from there uh, you want to uh, add the add the button in FL Digi and uh, I think it's uh, let's see it's in this one boy my uh, internet is a little bit slow here right now but I'll put a link to this page below and all you have to do is uh, create a button and put this link into it uh, you'll have to change the name of the file and I'll show you in uh, FL Digi this is the button I have for it I right click on it and it brings it up let me drag it out a little bit and I just copied uh, this line and I pasted it in here and then I had to change the name of the file uh, the file that we downloaded uh, was uh, uh, let's see where to go oh, I can't find it in there now but anyway yeah the file uh, is FL Digi 2 rum log ng apple script you know uh, pull it up here we want to get uh, the name right and I didn't change the the extension I just left it as Apple script so uh, named it uh, the button log hit apply and close now when I get a uh, station in here yeah let's see he's calling CQ let me see if I can get him uh, now when I get a station in here and I have a, a, a QSO with him I just hit this log button and it goes right into rum log uh, let's see if I get a, get him and I'll show you I'm running about 30 watts hey what do you know let's see if he gives me his name loon I've talked to him before. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Okay, that's his nickname. okay and now I can go ahead and log him and uh, to log him just hit the log button and my computer's a little bit slow I got a lot of stuff open and then I get the notification 
successful uh, login. Yeah, he's gonna stay inside and press some of the computers. All right, that's great. Okay, I'll, I'll probably be talking to him again. Uh, we'll go over to Rum Log and I'll show you uh, show you what it looks like over there. And yep, he got logged in there. So uh, that's the way it's set up with the Apple Script. Uh, I really enjoy uh, using Rum Log and uh, using it on the Mac with FLDG and. WSJTX and JT Bridge. I'm having a lot of fun with the digital modes. And I uh, hope you uh, find this video informative and get some useful information out of it. The Apple script is easy to set up. Just download it and uh, drag and drop it into that scripts folder and then uh, set up that button and uh, you'll have it going in no time. So uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Visit my website www.k0pir.com. Dot US. 73 and good DX.